I've actually asked to do the Spurs job for free. Don't actually pay me. You can pay me. I'm doing a payment by results. You can pay me at the end of the season. Uh, it's a good question, Oregon Guna. Look, we've got Richarlison. We've got Kulazewski. Right. And I think what Tottenham is missing is an out-and-out -out forward because Richarlison can come in off the left. Kulazewski is on the right. We need a beast. I say if Spurs were ambitious and we had a bit of bottle and a bit of balls, I would sell Kane to United and get 80 mil and I would sell Son for about 40 mil. And I would go for an Ozzyman type striker. We need someone young who's going to press. Son can't press anymore. Kane can't press. I would love to keep Kane and have Kane be the number 10 and be our De Bruyne. But if we don't sell Kane and we don't sell Son, we're not going to get the world-class striker. Like an, We need an Ozzyman type player if we want to stay in the top four. I actually think the squad is fine, apart from we need some centre-backs. Where Tottenham have gone wrong is that we spent 15 mil a season on a supposed world-class manager who decided that he was going to force players that don't play the system to play his awful system. You look at Eric Ten Hag, he looked at the Man U squad, they can't play the system that he wants to play, but he's looked at his players and he's found a way to make it work, pending the likes of De Jong and Co, who he wants to get over the line, come into the squad and then he can play the football he wants to play. Conte didn't do that. He was trying to force... He turned Son and he turned Kane into Kenyan marathon runners. They weren't footballers anymore. It was all long distance running. Do you know what I mean? And it has been a complete disaster. So for me, build the, the team round with Charleston. I think he's a great player. Kulizewski and find a world-class striker. And we start again. I'm surprised right. to hear you say, say Richarlison though. Like he's been absolute garbage. Do you attribute that to Conte? What do you that what do you attribute that to? No, that's Conte. It's not Richarlison. Mm -hmm. Richarlison okay. is a good player. You saw a little bit of what he could do in the Brazilian squad. And let me tell you why Conte is a disgrace. Conte is the type of manager he dictates where the players have to run. That's why Basuma is struggling in the midfield. Not because Basuma's come to a big club and he can't play anymore, but because Conte has said to Basuma, I don't want you crossing the halfway line. When you've got a manager like that, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. So what we need is to release the shackles. We bring back Poch, we get back a Nalgusman, we even bring in Lewis Enrique. You see a different Bissouma, you see a different Richarlison. Um, and you you know it takes time to settle into a team, but that system is awful. That system is. is a disgraceful system. If we had brought in Trossard. You wouldn't be, we wouldn't be, uh, you know, um, wax lyrical about Trossard because he would have done absolutely nothing for Spurs. But because Arsenal this season have been quite progressive, it's easy for a decent player to slot into that system. I even will go as far as to say, if you had bought Basuma, he probably really would have been challenging Partey for that starting position. But at Spurs, you just can't see the quality of these players because of the system. That is being deployed week in, week out. And honest. I mean, and, and Deji, I, I take issue with what you said. I I, I, I think I, I am not ever nice on this show. I'm just being realistic and, and, and just kind of speaking to what we're working with here. Uh, I would rather, I want Rob Holding looking for a job. I don't want him anywhere near my club, period. He's not the levels, but he's the, he's the shit that we have. The reason why I compare Arsenal this season to Leicester is because Leicester, when they won the league, they had average players overperforming and they managed to get it over the line. Ramsdale, as a goalkeeper, he's third choice for England. Let that sink in. Yeah, who's in charge yeah? of England? Right. Ben White is an average player, hence why when, Jez, when you suggested Ben White centre-back, Jez started shaking his head, hell no. So he, that means there's no confidence. Tierney, he was great at bloody Celtic. He ain't really lit up the Premier League. He's average, in my opinion. Xhaka, based on the 10 years he's been there, this is his best season for Arsenal. Yeah. Generally speaking, he's pretty sure. average. Mm -hmm. And Kitty Catty. Well, let, let's just leave it there as in Kitty Catty. Um, and then really, the world-class player you have is, you've got Saka, Martinelli's doing a great job this season. Odegaard stepped up. 
this season. Bloody hell, party stepped up this season. Mm. You've got about five or six average players who are overperforming. And you want me to sit here and believe that the same average players, Ben White, Ramsbottom, and Kitty Catty, are going to turn up next season and continue in the same game. They don't have the quality, mate. You can do it in a season, but the Premier League, how you choose, how you determine world-class players, top Premier League players, season in, season out. Arsenal are five players short from the team that I would say Arsenal are back. 